Photographer Ted Forbes from the Art of Photography YouTube channel made a video about nobody cares about your photography, something to that effect. Uh, if you haven't already seen the video, I'm going to include a link to the video in the description. Go ahead and see the video before or after you continue listening to this. These are basically my thoughts on the subject. I've listened to a lot of photographers and people in podcasts on other YouTube channels, friends of mine, uh, photographers that I know, and a lot of people have come up with all sorts of responses to this piece. And basically I find that more likely than not, a lot of people have misconstrued what Ted Forbes was saying. A lot of people uh, just took offense to it, actually. They, they think, well, what do you mean nobody cares about my photography? I care about my photography. But really, I don't think he's saying that you don't care about your own photography. Naturally, if you're a photographer, you care about your own work. What he, I think, is saying is that other people don't care about your photography. Now, while I don't agree 100% with that either, I do think he has a point. Let's talk about the people that care about your photography. Say for instance, you're a wedding photographer, right? Now, actually you might not care about the photography, but the people you're shooting care about the photography. Obviously, it's their big day. Or if someone's hired you to do some work, corporate photography, travel photography, say it's a tourism board, and they've paid for you to go off to a place and you're, uh, you're a travel photographer, and you've come back with photos, they care because these photos are gonna hopefully make them money. So they really care, trust me, about your photography. I don't think that's what he's alluding to. What I understand him saying is that generally people that have no direct stake in your work, people that have no direct uh, association with your work, so they're not the couple you've just photographed on their big day, they're not a tourism board that have hired and paid you for photography, they're not your mom, your dad, your sister, your best friend who sort of know you personally and who support your work, but just average Joe and average Josephine down the road who bumps into your work or who hears about your work, um, do they care? In my opinion, no. And it's not just photography. I think it's probably all art generally. In my, in my opinion, I think what's happened is uh, because the barrier of entry for creating art or creating works of any kind has been dramatically lowered in our times by technology, the internet, computers. It's now easy for basically everybody to create something, to make something. Whether or not it matters or it can be called art or any of that, uh, that's up to interpretation. And obviously with more people creating work, we're gonna get a lot lower quality work. It's just the way it is, it's a numbers thing. Um, but also with more people creating work, with more people given the opportunity to work, we're going to get a lot of people who are really, really good, who back in the day would not have had the opportunity to create because they had no access to the tools. So he mentioned the Sistine Chapel, he mentioned the Mona Lisa, so we're talking about Michelangelo, uh, Leonardo da Vinci, those kind of people. Well, if you look back to their time, uh, the amount of materials, the amount of uh, wealth, the amount of access that you needed to create art was a lot more difficult to get than we have now. You know, think back to the times of the Beatles, even far beyond that to Beethoven and Bach and all those people. The average person probably couldn't afford a piano or violin and someone who could have become a really incredible artist or who could have created a masterpiece may not have had access to, to these things. So what's happened is back in the day, there were a lot fewer people creating stuff. We had a lot fewer masterpieces, a lot fewer works of art, a lot, a lot fewer photographs even. And people paid more respect to these creations. People um, valued them more. For instance, there were a lot fewer pictures of me that were taken between the ages of zero and five, say. Uh, than you would take of someone who's in that age, in our era now. I mean, in my collection of photos from my, from my past, maybe 10, 20 of them have survived. And I value these photos because they're the only ones that I have. And I can't change that. I can't go back in time to recreate these things. Whereas now any two year old, three year old, four year old probably has tens of thousands of photos of them that have been taken with iPhones, with cameras, with you know all these digital cameras, especially if, uh, 
One of the parents is a photographer. They must have hundreds of thousands of photos that have been taken of them. So what I really think is uh, it's not about care much, but rather about value. I'll say photography today is less valuable because it's more accessible. So the barrier to entry has been lowered dramatically. So now we just have a swamp of photos to look at. But yes, in the middle of all of that, in the middle of all of that junk, there's good quality and there's value and people care about those. So when he says that we need to create work that matters, um, I don't think he's saying we need to create the, the next uh, uh, Michelangelo work or the next Mona Lisa. I think what he means is to create valuable work. So in my opinion anyway, I say valuable work, work that matters, um, is stuff that matters to you personally and stuff that will end up mattering in future. Examples of that, you know, if you've got grandparents, photograph them, you know, it's only a matter of time before they're not with us anymore. Street photographers, for instance, you know, if you look around you, it's an ever-changing surrounding. Especially if you live in a city or an area that's been rapidly gentrified, going around and taking pictures of what things are right now are going to be extremely valuable in the future. But again, you're not the only one taking these pictures at the moment. You know, you have everyone's got a cell phone, everyone's got a camera, you've got CCTV, the video's been recorded 24 seven. Even just now, outside my window, I had the Google Maps car just drive past. So they've just photographed this and this is gonna be archived probably forever somewhere on Google's hard drives. So even that, the value of things like that is decreasing as more and more people are participating in it and as it's becoming easier and easier to do. So what do you think? Do you agree or disagree with Ted Forbes? Or do you think I've completely missed the point? Let me know in the comments. In the meantime, I'm gonna go continue shooting my next camera review. Take care, have a nice day.